Okay, so we're going to talk about just a few of the transformations that are under our video effects so that we can get this horizontal mirroring effect. I'm going to add two clips, or sorry, add one clip onto the screen. I'm going to add this one, People Street, and I'm going to add it on two times. And then make it smaller, just like I did in my previous video. Okay, so I have it over here. I'm going to click, I'm going to mute. Actually, I want to get rid of this audio, so I'm going to unlink it, and then I can get rid of that audio. So click on my first one, go up to my effects control, and I'm going to scale it down, making it smaller. I will make it, I think, 45% seems to be, or 46, okay, magic number. All right, double click it, move it out. Select the other video clip from my timeline and do the same thing. Scale it down to 46%. And then double click it and move it out. And so now I have to just decide which one is the one that I want to flip. Incidentally, if you find it hard to make little tiny moves when you're clicking and moving things here, you can still go up to position and move things that way. You can also use the keys, the arrow keys on your keyboard. I like to do that and just kind of nudge things into place. All right. And so now I think the clip that I want to work on, I'm going to flip will be this one over here. I click, I selected it here and it also selected it in the timeline for me. And so now I'm going to find my effects panel. Now I am still working in the editing mode. So this is the layout for the editing mode where my effects panel is in the panel on my lower left hand corner. Normally I see the project tab, but if I scroll over or if you don't see it, you look in the double arrow, you should see effects. If you are in a different mode, your effects panel might be over here in the on the top right. If you're under, um, let's see, effects for example. So just look for your effects panel and then open up video effects, open up transform. And here we have a couple that we're going to talk about. I'm going to go over crop and horizontal flip. Vertical flip is the exact same as horizontal. I don't really need to go over it. It just goes in a different direction. So all I need to do is double click this and it applied the transformation to that clip. So now let's get this kind of cool effect. So if I wanted to remove this or effect or see what it looked like without it, I'm going to go to my effects control panel and where I see it here listed, I could click on the FX and that temporarily turns off the effect. So now it's back to the way it was. All right. And down here are some masking options, which we're not going to deal with for this homework assignment, but we will get to eventually. So that way we could apply that horizontal flip to just a part of the video clip. But for right now, this is pretty good. If you decided you just didn't like this and you don't want to have the horizontal flip, you could just click on it and then delete it. I just use the delete key on my keyboard. All right. So now let's talk about another option here, which would be the crop option. All right. So I'm just going to drag another clip onto my timeline. Something else to work from and go back to effects and in under transform, I'm going to click double click crop. Now this one didn't do anything automatically. This one, I have to go to my effects control panel and make some adjustment adjustments. So I'll show you what this looks like. I'm just going to scroll up and I'm going to um, add a crop on my left side, uh, 10, and then I'll go to my right and I'll add that 10 make that a 10% as well. So do you see what it's doing? All it's doing, it's, it's kind of bringing in these black bars. It's just like covering up what you have before. So that may or may not work for you. Um, it depends on your, if you're willing to make the image larger from here, or you're going to add something else if the crop will really work. So I'll just keep going. So if I add, I'm going to do a crop of 10% on all sides. So now I have this black border around and the next thing that I could do if I wanted to get this full size again, instead of having the black borders, I could scale this up. So up here, I'm still in my effects control panel. I could go to scale and I could scale it up 
to 126 or 27 percent and now I don't see that black anymore. Now this is okay for a little bit but you guys know you can't take you can't crop your image and make it really small and then scale it back up all the way right because that would look really pixelated and not good. But a small amount like 25 percent we can get away with especially if you shot it high at HD at high definition. Okay um, lastly I guess I'll point out if you make some edits and then besides just being able to turn them off to see what it looked like before but if you actually wanted to set your numbers back to their default you can simply click on the reset over here and that'll bring things back to the number it was by default okay so that can also be like a, a useful thing or way to get back to to um, your automatic settings all right so that's it for this video and uh, let me know if you have any questions